Okay, now I'm working on a different kind of lampshade. I got this at a thrift store. And you can see it's got a kind of a pretty shape. And <clears throat> it was just like a, kind of a gray dull metal. And so I painted it black and I mixed the Waverly ink color with this glue and it got really thick kind of like a dry paste and <clears throat> so i added a little bit of water because i want it kind of rough looking like it's you know rusted metal does and now i'm gonna mix up some paints in this little paper tray and uh try to put a little bit of rust color on it so i'll be working on the mixing the paints now okay now i'm trying to experiment with mixing some paints i don't have any browns really and this is the paints i'm using that's the waverly ink color and there's that and then there's that metallic paint it's a bronze that the company don't carry anymore but they have other metallic paints and it's www.polyvine.com polyvine.com I love this paint, but can't get no more of that one. I might have to try some of their others. So right here I got wood glue. And then I got the bronze and the black and the orange. So I'm going to see if I can make a kind of rusty color. Black and orange. Don't look like it. Maybe I need more orange. I'm gonna need more paint, period. And it ain't gonna be real important how it looks inside because I'm gonna have lace or something. Um, on this, but not the same kind of lace I put on that last video. I'll put a link to it. I'm just gonna put it in random spots. So, I'll keep doing this. Oh, wait. I forgot to use any of my wood glue. Give it some texture. I'm going to have to make up more paint. <laughs> and I'll zoom in and show you how it looks after it dries, too. But that's what I'll be doing. Okay, I wanted to show you this part too. Let me turn this thing around to another corner. Okay, I'm mixing up some more of the orange and black. <clears throat> and I'm using a lot more orange. And I'm getting some wood glue. I'll put it on there. I think I need a little more orange. Okay, and now I'm going to take some of the wood glue and this bronze. I'm just going to dab it in random spots on this. And then I'll zoom in and I'll show you what it looks like wet anyway. I don't know if it'll look any different dry. Okay, let's see if it'll focus. Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> and then like right, where is it? Right there, but it looks a little like a too much of an orange stripe. I'll just add a little of this. Where's it at? A little black, black bronze. And where I'd done the uh, the black 
with the wood glue it kind of give a crackle effect which is fine if that actual metal shows through then just be another color on there so I'll show you after it dries too okay and the last thing I'm doing here is uh just taking my brush and lightly just going around dabbing random places And then after it dries, but I'll show you like right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can pick it up. <laughs> Let's see. Right there, you can see how chunky. Let me mix up some. I'll show you how it chunks up. Okay, I've already got the Apollo Black right there, so I'll use that. So here's the wood glue. I mean, I was just surprised it did. I didn't know it'd chunk up like that. Here's some of the black I put in it. Maybe more. But see how it's getting all chunky? So that's pretty neat, ain't it? That's how I did the black on there first. And I had to add water because it was like too chunky. I was getting like little wads that would just fall clunk. <laughs> I'm put more paint and see what happens. Like thinned it. There's more glue. And it just makes it all chunky. Don't know why. Okay, I'd already finished the video, video and was about to edit. <laughs> And I realized you couldn't really tell because I needed more light. So I went and got a light. And the, this part won't show so much because there'll be lace on it. And I guess it depends on how open the lace is as time it'll show. But uh, up here will show. And it looks a little too brown to me. I think I needed a little more orange in places. Or something and I'm gonna show you a spot I might have to move my light let's see well I'm gonna show you down here all this roughness you know and if something sit outside and rust let me get my light down here you know it would get like that and so there's how that looks I don't know why it's so dark in here now there's a spot with more orange and let's see what was i talking about okay right there it's not so important on this but if you were doing something else let's see if i can zoom in you might not want that definite line where it's obvious that it's painted so i've wadded up some paper towel and got a little of the black paint here okay where was it at right there and so I'm gonna dab my paper towel in it. I'm gonna come over here. Okay, it's just not gonna focus good with my hand in a way at all. So I'm just gonna dab some of the black on it to take away that definite line right there. Anyway, it's not showing up good. But you kind of get the idea. So, this is the only place that really shows up good. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you like the video and I hope it helps you on some project you're working on. And uh, be sure and hit the like button, that'll help me out a lot. There's some of the orange. Looks kind of rusty, don't it? And uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.